All right, hey everybody, it's just James, okay? I am here, I am testing out the Nintendo Switch. I wanna see how it all works out. So, here we go. I bought this game like almost two years ago now. <laughs> I haven't played it. So I'm interested to see how it goes. I like mystery, so let's see how it goes. Let's solve a mystery together. If you guys are hanging out today, let me know. I'm bored at home, I want to try out the Switch and see how it works with Twitch and everything because we might start playing like other games beyond, you know, horror games. I'm trying to like broaden my horizons. So, I am going to start playing. Let's see what's going on in our chats, shall we? Yes, we have some, oh, that's how I look, wow. Hey, honeybee, how you doing? Hey, Frank, what's going on? All right, let's start. Again, like, I've never done this before, so let's see how this works. Yeah, confirm, whatever. Um, yeah, I heard good things about this game because I'm a huge fan of pushing up roses on, Insta on, on, on YouTube. And she recommended it, so I thought, okay, let's try. Y'all gonna have to help me because I'm terrible at this shit, so let's make sure I actually, you know, find some clues. Oh, this is cute. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm good, thanks, honeybee. Oh, look at you, little wiglets. I love it. <laughs> hey, Smashly. Dang, come on over. James Mansfield 2 fam. Hey. Hey, Antonio. Yeah, we're hanging out today. We're playing a mystery game. It's Jenny of the Fruit. Um, oh, it's a point and click. Okay. Creepy. Okay, so it's just like the quarry. So we should be able to do this. Okay, work. Side scroll. This is beautiful. Yes, I'm trying this out. I haven't played it yet, but it was highly recommended, so if you're into mysteries, it's solve it. Accelerate me, okay. Oh. Alright, this is very interactive. <laughs> I know, right? It's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Coraline. Oh, you've played it, Spiritus? Don't spoil anything. I see, no, I have to make the points match up. Okay, I get it now. Okay, okay, so that's what we're doing. Got it. All right. Oh shit, okay, so <laughs> it's very touchy. Well, this is gonna be frustrating. It's like the portable safe in the Resident Evil games, like, God damn it. <laughs> Your lips are sealed? Thanks. Yeah, if anything, if you can <laughs> help me with this damn thing. <laughs> oh, we got it. Okay. Work. Alright, puzzle solving. I mean, it only took me a good five minutes to figure that out. <laughs> How are we doing today? Yeah, we're playing a new game as it's just James. We're testing out the Nintendo Switch. We're just beginning, so I don't know what's going on. It's just a man in a trench coat on a lake going into what looks like a submarine. 
it's kind of reminded me of Code Veronica, where like I didn't realize when I was a little kid playing it that I had to go up side up inside the submarine. <laughs> I would just make it go all the way down and then go all the way back up and not ever go up in the submarine. We'll play that soon too. Is what? This honey? Who? Oh, I must have dozed off. Perhaps we need a spot of tea to wake us up. What do you say, Rufus? Oh, where's Puff? Yes, yes, quite right. Better get back to work. This book won't write itself. Maybe I should start somewhere easier. I'll come back to the prologue later. Right. The sun rose over another perfect day in picturesque Arthurton. To the casual observer, Arthurton seemed like any other small, quiet town. It was nestled in a valley between two mountains, lined by lustrous forests, and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. Right. It had a main street with all the essentials, including a place to sip coffee. It had schools, a college, a church, and a police station. So it, was a town. it even had a museum no one ever visited. Okay. It was the kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. Typical, maybe even forgettable. But there was one thing in Arthurton that was unlike any other town in the whole world. Murder? Actually, it was Whoa. a girl. Her name was... <laughs> My team. Jenny LeClue. And she was the world's greatest detective. Finkelstein residence. Oh, hello, Glenda. Yes, he said he might hot? ring. How do we feel? Okay, patch me through then. Richard? Yes, I got it. I did, and my answer is no. I understand that, but... Well, yes, of course, but... No, 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 nothing is settled. I'm not going to do it. It goes against everything my books stand for. No, not yet, but... If I could just, please, listen to what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Okay. It was the kind of place you might find anywhere. Okay, let me see. The character voice is done now. It was the kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. Typical, maybe even forgettable. But there was Arthur Tin, unlike any other... Oh, she read this. Okay, I didn't write anything. Look at the pens. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna give you like a cat and roll it off the table. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's satisfying. Clues. Found clues. Head over to the gallery to see it on display. You can access the gallery from the main menu or the pause menu. Okay. What's that? Is it plus? No. Well, that's cute. Look at her sassy. It's all good. Oh, there it is. Gallery. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's grim. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Gallery. Oh, good lord. This is too much. <laughs> That's the gallery? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to that. We'll put a pin in that. Oh, let's be nosy. Dear Arthur, hope all is well. Afraid I've got bad news, old chum. There's no easy way to say it. I've 
Oh, I'm attached. Oh, I've attached. Oh, I thought you said I'm affected, but yeah. I attached the latest book sales and numbers. Ooh, girl. All right, this is a lot, so let's see. And I'm trying to reboot my terrible eyesight. If y'all can do this, just fill me in. Nowadays, a young man must be mystery and danger. When you're losing them, when Jenny is increasingly timid, blah, 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 blah. One bit of good news is something like that. One last to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want you to proper murder mystery, yeah, 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 uh-huh, and let's just, let's flip it, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. It's like Resident Evil, they expect you to read all those documents. Jenny LeClue and the missing marmalade sandwich. What a blah, blah, blah. Magic kind of a bit of a shock, blah, 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 blah. You guys commit this to memory and let me, fill me in later, okay? Let's see if I can knock it out. Oh, I can't, okay. Oh, I can't write the book? Okay, whatever. The sum over the other perfect. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, that's, we read that already. Letter to Pingleton, Pingle fans draft. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. How do I, which one's R? Huh? Oh, it's not how to play. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, it's all, there we go. I'm relearning this because I never was a GameCube girly. I was always a PlayStation girly, so. Okay. Nothing of insignificance here. Cool. Work. All right. Sweet. Look at us being mysteries. You don't understand what you're asking for. You want me to turn Jenny's world upside down? Thank you, soccer girl. Kill off my characters and destroy everything I've built over the last 30 years? Fine. I'll give you that what you want. To find. But I warn you, <laughs> I'm a stream of consciousness That's why I got you guys. And you I'm have unleashed to my fury. Good day, sir. That's the kind of detective I am. You do all the work and I take the credit. I'm sure Sean Holmes is the same way. Predictable. Well, if it's murder they want, it's murder they'll get. Murder. <laughs> Me pretending to work when I worked at the bank. The art style is really pretty, I have to say. It should have been another perfect day in Arthurton. But today was different. And nothing would ever be the same again. Ooh. To begin with, Jenny LeClue was dead. Oh? Her skin was pale, her eyes glassy and frozen. What cruel fate had befallen our beloved detective? Just a little blush. No, no, no. Never move the victim. Mrs. LeClue, she's doing it again. Jenny LeClue, you are a dead body. Dead bodies don't talk. Julie LeClue, former detective, teaches dumb students, terrible cook, great mom. Okay. But he's doing it wrong. As wonderful as it would be if all cadavers were so talkative, we must deduce the cause of death without their help. With only the evidence laid before us, we build a picture from the fragments left behind. We collect clues, interpret the data, and solve our puzzle one piece at a time, right. until it feels as if the victim is speaking to us. But Jenny is right, Jonathan. You mustn't disturb the crime scene. Vital evidence could be lost. Sorry, Mrs. LeClue. Or they could blame you for it. Okay, you've all had a chance to study the body? Find a dead body, just Who walk past it. how she meant her demise. Ooh, uh, me, me! I think it was an accident? Yeah, she obviously wasn't looking where she was going. So she slipped on the wet floor. And, and cracked her head open. And like an egg. And then she bled to death. And died. Really? How can you tell? Well, there's a giant pool of blood around her head. Yeah, I know. I was being sarcastic. But the oh. green in her mouth. The green. She Actually, you're both wrong. What? It was cold-blooded murder. Murder? Don't be ridiculous. Where's the murder weapon? 
There's no evidence anyone else was even here. Oh, yes, there is. It was murder. And I can prove it. The case of the dead lab assistant. Jenny had read all the books. She'd absorbed all her mother's teachings. But there was nothing quite like getting your hands dirty. How many people get the chance to solve their own murder? The first step in any good deduction was collecting evidence. Seemingly insignificant details could provide a vital piece of the puzzle. First, I'll search the crime scene for clues. Then she'd analyze the data. And finally... Deduce the real cause of death. Okay, so there's one of these. Let's see. Gallery art. Okay. What a waste of perfectly good coffee. Jenny's love for coffee was almost as strong as her passion for crime solving. Right. Chalky green residue on the rim. <laughs> Smells like burnt matches. Poison. It was poison. The victim has a green smudge on her lips. It's not lipstick. It's poison. Jesus Christ. Okay. More gallery art. We'll look later. Okay. It wasn't Jenny's style to wear accessories, but this hair clip was the exception. Its function as a lockpick had saved Jenny from a long night trapped in her school locker. Oh. She'd worn it ever since. There's no doubt the victim lost a lot of blood. Approximately eight sizes too big. And covered in mud. Oh. Okay, um... Ooh, more art. More green stats for the war. All right, let's see. The floor is wet and slippery, but also immaculately clean. Okay. What else do we interact with? Jenny's blue sweater was scruffy and quite uncomfortable, but her grandmother had knitted it, and so it was her favorite. The more it itched, the closer she felt to her. Fascinating. Okay. Without her trusty bifocals, Jenny couldn't see the nose in front of her face. They were her window to the world and the lens through which she focused her keen detective vision. When is I've seen enough. Stream? I Time usually do them on Wednesdays. It seems like the best day to do it. Jenny was a meticulous record keeper, noting every relevant clue in her trusty journal. A great detective knew that solving a mystery was simply a matter of connecting the dots. I'm certain this wasn't a mere accident. Now I just need to prove it. How do I know the victim didn't slip? Um... Well, the mouth isn't here. That, and, um... The boots. Just circling stuff. <laughs> okay, make deduction. That doesn't quite add up. Let me give this some more thought. Oh, okay. I get it now. That. And we'll just save the glasses. Why not? No, that's not it. I'm missing oh. something. Okay, so the boots. See the glasses. And the ugly sweater. No blood. Okay. Try those two. God damn it. Okay. Nope. That's not what I meant. Let me try that again. Well, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, so at least we figured that out. That's not it. I'm missing something. Let's see. How are we doing? Alright. 
<laughs> Camille, spoil it for me. I don't know which one. <laughs> Is the boot one of them? Okay. Let's see. The victim's boots are filthy. Okay. They should have left big muddy footprints on the floor. <laughs> so where are they? Hold A. Either someone washed away her footprints, or she was carried here. Yes. Okay, that proves she didn't slip. So how did she actually die? What was the real cause of death? That one. And she was poison girl. There's a green residue in the bottom of the victim's coffee cup. It smells of burnt matches. Phosphorus. Also found in common garden fertilizer. The same green mark is on the victim's lips. Her coffee was spiked with fertilizer. Someone clearly wanted her dead. They poisoned her with poo. Deadly, deadly poo. Ah, the case of the dead lab assistant. Gone before her time. You really drink poo? Was it poison? Yes. A blow to the head? Yes. An accident? Certainly not. No footprints in an unshattered mug? She was killed somewhere else and carried here. This is the story of a scorned ex-lover. Jenny? The gardener, enacting his revenge. Jenny? A deadly brew of fertilizer and caffeine coursing through the veins. That's quite enough, thank you. What happens to the gardener? Is this going to be on the test? Remember, class, even the smartest criminals make mistakes. This is how we catch a killer. But what's the point of all this? Yeah, there hasn't been a murder in Arthur in years. Every town has a dark the poop side. Even I'm telling you. By doubting, we are led to question. And by questioning, we arrive at the I truth. I didn't know phosphorus could kill you, though. That's interesting. Okay, okay. that's all for today. Don't forget, next class is our field trip to the morgue. So have a light lunch. <laughs> She's doing the most. I'm living. <laughs> the students need to think for themselves, Jenny. That's why they're here at Gumbold. To learn. I just figured we all had places to go. Speaking of which... And where are you off to, young lady? I'm a dead body mall, remember? Dead bodies don't tell. See ya! Same. Wait, before you go, I have something for you. Cool! What is it? If I told you that potatoes can kill in California? How so? Little crews didn't share. simply hand each other presents. They hid them. It was a family tradition, and Jenny had developed a sixth sense for finding them. With her trusty magnifying glass at her side, nothing eluded her. Work. Okay. Am I supposed to, like, move it? How am I supposed to do it? Oh, work. Okay. Look at me figuring things out. Ha, boobs. Okay, there we go. To Jenny, there was nothing better than the aroma of a fresh leather notebook. It smelled like mystery. Without missing a beat, she did what any detective worth their salt would do. She decorated it. Oh, work. Oh, fun, like a trapper keeper. Okay, we put that there. Let's rotate it. How do I, how do I rotate it? Okay. I want to rotate it. How do you move it? There we go. Oh, girl, yeah. There we are. I heart nerds. Saucy. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, cute! Oh my god! Okay. Let's make everything gigantic. Why not? Oh my god. I'm way too excited to decorate. Okay, a little bit. No magnifying glass there, too. And that could be huge as well. Like that. Okay. And then, um,. Another heart. Cute. Oh, this is fun. Oh my god. 
The Trapper Keepers, I know, I missed those too. Um, I always wanted Lisa Frank, but my mom would never buy me it. So that was too girly. Like the little rainbow jaguars. That was child abuse, honestly, if you really think about it. There we are. Oop. Okay, I think it's artistic. You know, it's a little messy, but it's fine, you know. We're going with the character. The burn book, right? <laughs> okay, it's cute. What the hell? A new journal meant new adventures. She imagined all the thrilling cases that would soon fill its pages. And on the first page, her mother had written an inscription. A great detective never gives up. Love, Mom. P.S. What's up, four eyes? Okay, change page. Cute. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Oh, I can decorate some more? Oh, never mind, that's the other one. All right, B. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Jenny, Jenny, I wanted, I wanted to, to talk, talk about, about, um, uh, to say, uh... Your doctor. Somewhere in the back of Jenny's highly caffeinated brain, an alarm bell was ringing. Her mum was hesitating. Pregnant. What could be causing her to act so out of character? Arms. Divorce. Furrowed brow. Jenny saw it coming from a mile away. Her mother was about to get emotional. I've really got to go. No, Jenny, wait. I need your help. What? Really? Jenny couldn't believe her ears. It was extremely unusual for her mother to ask for help. At least you got it, though. It must be something very important. the jaguar ones or the zebra ones. Tracing the steps of a deranged killer? A cold case that only someone with Jenny's expertise could solve? I misplaced the students' essays on decapitation. I'll turn it down a little. See if you can find them for me before you leave. I have to run. Wow, the case of the misplaced papers. Are you sure you want to trust me with such a complex task? I have no doubt you'll be able to find them. They're around here somewhere. Right. Jenny was unsure if her mother was unable to detect sarcasm or just really good at ignoring it. Yeah, it's probably because of the volume of mine. Try to get out of it. I want to help mom. What's the point? They're all going to fail anyway. A great detective learns the most valuable lessons yeah. from I'll their biggest failures. I'll turn down a little bit of mine because it's probably just that. I got to help mom. Okay, mom. I'll find them before I leave. On one condition. Yes? You have to let me help grade them. One of Jenny's favorite pastimes was grading papers. Grade papers. Nothing pleased her more than giving a big shiny F to an overconfident student. No. Don't push her luck. Please. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Find the papers and go straight home. But I'm meeting Keith tonight. No buts. Who's Keith? Remember? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still feeling the effects of being poisoned for your class. Well then, she drank I have the perfect you. antidote. You're staying with your cousin this weekend, and you still need to pack. This again? Look, I've considered your offer, Mom, and I'm going to have to decline. I'm old enough to take care of myself. I'll be back late tonight. There's meatloaf in the fridge. You know what I'd be down for? What this is reminding me of. It's kind of giving late Daria. Again. What are you up to? Jenny LeClue, it's been a difficult week. Could you please just do what you're told for once and stop asking questions? Hell no. Fine. I'm inquisitive. And try to stay out of trouble. When do I ever get into trouble? All right, let's find these papers and get out of here. Ooh, she walks. Examine the jam jar. One of Jenny's earliest memories was making raspberry jam with her mom. It's Job. a perfect substitute for blood in class demonstrations. And better tasting than the pig's blood the textbook recommends. Okay. Man, I'm not looking at this gallery, girl. There's too much. Looking rather trim today, Ethan. New diet? <gasps> yeah, Daria as a detective, though, I would play this. Lost your funny bone. 
Remember they have like that um Dario's Inferno game for the computer? Did anyone ever play that? I heard it was trash, but if they made a Daria like point and click or detective game, that would be everything. Becoming a great detective took more than book smarts. You needed real life experience. And Jenny was always on the lookout for a chance to get her hands dirty. With a stamp. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, back. Which where you put these papers? I'm gonna search an through Please this place. Please do not touch. Hmm. Someone must be running an experiment. Dust. Gross. Pretty soon it's gonna sprout legs. Fascinating. Alright. I wasn't paying attention. How do you do the little magnifying glass? Oh, there it is. Okay, work. Let's search this damn place because it's getting on my nerves. Okay, I think I see him. No? But those are papers right there. Lies! Okay, whatever. Fine. Tech, being a tech would be super exciting. So did I. Like, I always wanted to be one when I was a kid. But I'm no good at, like, holding on to clues or anything. Like, if it comes to, like, having to research, mm -mm. <laughs> I know my own shortcomings. It would not happen. description <laughs> I am blind okay if you're referring to me you're absolutely right Okay, if you know what to do, let me know, because I'm trying to find these damn papers, and I don't know what they are. Like, am I crazy? They're behind the chalkboard, but it's not finding them. Like, those are papers! <laughs> <laughs> me not knowing what to do. It's literally like me playing the quarry, trying to like see in the dark. <laughs> okay, Jenny, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. 
to go out. <laughs> I am so confused. <laughs> and she walks so weird. Like, it's such a stank walk. Oh my god. <laughs> cabinets? Am I supposed to search the cabinets? I forgot, yeah. Point and clips, I never really played them, like, the Nancy Drew games, so... She refuses to search anything. Seriousness of a heart attack with that magnifying glass. No. <laughs> it is giving Butch Queen. I was just like, if you know what to do, let me know. Just tell me. Because. I feel like we have searched everywhere high and low and we are not getting anywhere. <laughs> oh, that walk is so stank. Can you go through the door? No, she only can go side to side. It's crazy. She only can walk back and forth. <laughs> It keeps telling you to inspect the board. <laughs> Ernie trying to backseat drive. Okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> there, papers. Where? <laughs> yeah, it's not doing anything now. <laughs> Under the board, like, yeah, but it wasn't like giving us a direction for it, though. That's the problem. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Like, there's no command. supposed to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It's one of the student's term papers. You can tell by the terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Mom must have put them behind the chalkboard. Bitch, I've been saying it's behind the chalkboard. Soul. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna throw something. <laughs> oh, you little bitch. Okay. You know what? You know what? Jenny. If it's like Nancy Drew and you get to Time kill to get her, it's gonna happen at least once just out of rage. Let's get the hell out of here. Damn redheads. Jenny looked around the room one last time. Was she ready to leave? Time to quit this game, girl, really, though. No, we're leaving. We're done. <laughs> so clearly you can see why I never played point and click. Okay, so she wasn't really dead. That would be silly. No, Jenny was alive and well and ready for another perfect day in Arthurton. This is why I can't play games. I was about to rage quit so fast. It was like the easiest thing in the world when I really like this, like, like deciphered it. <laughs> I just thought of an iconic look, Maggie Smith and Under the Sun. I don't think I've ever seen it. I have to look. 
I don't know a lot of like Maggie Smith's it's like when she was young. Cause I've only ever seen like the prime of Gene Brody. <laughs> or murder by death. She's in that too. What the What a mess. I should investigate. You can go look, you little nosy bitch. Alright. Girl, it's just garbage. What is it? Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. Oh, Agatha Christie. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. it was a is it like Hercule Perot? I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. Who's the detective in it? Is it Marple or Perot? The notice board was awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always says, a great detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details, and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Right. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on, what's this? The mystery one? Oh no, they've extended curfew hours again. 9 p.m. to sunrise, oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> but necessary, power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. It no, was dangerous it was to be wandering around like after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. Okay. This is nice. Ooh, let's be nosy. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Hey! You! Oh, hi there! What are you doing back there? Well, I was pruning. But then I discovered the cerulean bugberry mm -hmm. bush. Discovered? These bushes are all over, Arthurton. Actually, this is an incredibly rare bloom. There's nothing rare about Arthurton. I beg to differ. Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants. Right. Not interested. Looks like a regular old bush to me. Wow. Some people just don't appreciate the wonders right in front of them. I guess that's why I'm one of the lucky few working in Dean Strasberry's greenhouse. Anyway, I okay. should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. Oh, he's gay? Have fun. Ooh, let's be nosy. Yes. Okay. Good work. I'm gonna get cut up with that thing. Okay, let's move this way. Her walk is so staunch. <laughs> it's like little Edie. Do my new runway walk. It is pretty. It's a very pretty game. Signs and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Who's this man? Left! Left! Oh, I dear. said left, damn it! What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? My left. Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? So you want me to move it the other way? Yes. Nothing would make me happier. 
If you're not careful, we're gonna have bronze brains all over the floor. They seem... busy. I should probably lead them to it. Okay. Huh. Okay, let's see. Where are we at for time right now? Hey, Ernie. What are for time right now? How have we been streaming for? 45 minutes. Huh. I think about switching games. Hi. This one's kind of boring me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> kind of bored. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> I think I'll play Resident Evil Zero instead. Yeah, right? <laughs> Greet Dean Schnossberry. RE0? Okay, let's do it. Alright, can you put on the um, bumper? It's like in Which bumper? We don't have, you can't use your music on this channel. Oh, we can't? Oh, don't we have a um... Oh, the gorge? Yeah, the gorge. Oh, hold on. So I can just go to the menu and swap over. I'm so over it, soccer. I'm telling you, like, it's like, I thought it was gonna be more action packed, but it's kind of like a little too relaxing. Oh, that guy's kind of hot. Look at him. They can. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, go back and see. All right, are we on the menu? Yeah. All right, sweet. I'm gonna switch over. Bloop. Oh, close. Yeah, I felt a yawn coming on, and I was like, ooh, this is no good. I need to wake myself up, I need to shoot something. Something needs to get shot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Let's, let's get back to it. Oh. It was the music. It was very harvest music. Like, we need something that fucks. We need something that kicks some ass. Let's put on Resident Evil Zero. Good old frustrating Resident Evil Zero. What about people that want to rewatch? They're going to have to watch this one. It's okay. Let's switch the title list. It's also Mysteries slash Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then I got bored and played Resident Evil Zero. That'll be why I titled it. A little long, but you know what? It's fine. Again, this is just a test anyway. I could always just restart from the beginning if I decide, but RE0 is what we're gonna do. Oh, we should've just done it tomorrow, because on Switch it says that you're playing Jenny Clue, but oh. not you're, you're Resident Evil. <laughs> Did you remember to save your progress? I think I'm good. We didn't really get anywhere with that. All I achieved was boredom. Let me see if I could change it to Resident Evil Zero midway through. I bet you probably could. I feel like people switch games all the time. <sighs> Who cares? Do what makes you happy, honestly. This is what I get for trying out something I never played before. I trusted my instincts and thought, you know what? Let's do something different, you know? And then I did it. And it turns out, I didn't really like it. I thought it was because we were have to play a left versus the right game. True. Very true. I'm very bad at directions, especially when it comes to left and right. Basic directions throw me off. It's like when I'm giving common math, I'm just like, I feel like I'm being tested. <laughs> Oh, it switched right over. All right. No, I just switched that. Oh, yeah. Work. We'll do easy. Resident I need to... Evil Zero. I'm trying to be fierce, but not that fierce. <laughs> Let's see. What's the alternate controls? We'll try it. We'll see. I can always switch back. A Midwestern town in America. Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City. Oh, thank you, Sponge Sheena King. Island. Appreciate it. There are still yeah, many unanswered questions about these like seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. So basically, though it is believed that the international enterprise umbrella people, was somehow like involved, in little is Midwestern known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. And they're sending in when was it established? The Alpha By team? whom? And 
and they're gonna go and, and how was the T virus created? Uh -huh. To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Do you think so too? Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are and people react to this. Not gonna check the game. <laughs> Never again, I tell you. I think since I enjoyed Nancy Drew growing up, but the practice of playing it as an adult, I was like, I'm so boring. What well, Resident Evil look what I do? I'd probably do Jill. Like um RE3 Jill with the tank top. <laughs> I remember I tried doing that with Twitch once, and I didn't realize that green came out, so I was just like, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. Oh dear. Oh dear. Do your high notes summon leeches? I just think it's going to be Mariah Carey do that? I don't think she can. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Right. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. I enjoy anyone that wears a children combat. I love that. What's going Rebecca, on? Rebecca, she's often overlooked. Emergency landing. But she is iconic. Isn't she? Game will prove that to you. Oh. Little pyramid had make an appearance. Different franchise, different franchise. I've never played Silent Hill. I hear people really like it. I never played it. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. I think I was always too afraid to play it because I thought it was gonna be really hard. Captain. Look! <gasps> Captain! Hmm? What happened? Leeches. It was leeches. Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 26th. Okay, so Billy Collin. Prisoners to hot. be transferred to the Regathon Very hot. base. Very we never see him again in this franchise. Those poor soldiers. They were good men. He's like just the doing sister jobs. in um, Family Scum Matters. She just went up the stairs and she never came back. All down. right, everyone. We don't know what let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Play short message is actually a pretty good free game. Okay. I'm always looking for free games, especially if they're horror games. I do love horror games. Like Resident Evil style, where I could walk around and see a character. I like to see the outfits. I'm gay like that. I need the fashion. A train. Let's go break into the Amtrak. Yeah, this game's sickening because it's like Resident Evil 1, but it takes place on an Amtrak. Or like Murder on the Orient Express, like lots of Murder on the Orient Express, I guess, if you would call it. The door to the safety is shut. There is no turning back. Back, back, back. Okay. That's that. A little point clicky. Luggage lies strewn about the cabin. The seats are stained red with blood. Work, okay. The door of the dining car is locked. You can't get in, okay, cool. Let's see, let's, let's start looting. What's going on here? What's the tea? Yeah, yeah, we, I know about the luggage and the blood. Okay, moving on. Moving on.
This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo team. Please identify yourself. Right. Is someone there? The government has announced that Gas. That is not yours, Rebecca. Oh, yeah, they're coming to claim it. Ugh. I wonder how long they were lying they're dead for. Oh, let's light them up. Bam. Bam. Try me. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Damn, I loaded them down quick. I dropped them so fast. How much lo Okay, how do I go with my inventory? Ooh, okay, I gotta stop being so spray happy with the gun. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do headshots. It's like randomized. You're playing easy mode. Shut up! <laughs> you know my life. I haven't played this game in years, okay? <laughs> Don't call me out. <laughs> the people on Twitch that are just tuning in, like, you know, don't know that. <laughs> Ink ribbon? Eh. No, I, I'll know where I am. We'll, we'll come back to it. work. Stained with blood. The, some sections are illegible. Da, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Cool. Awesome. Riveting. Oh, yes. Give me the herb. And I want the bullets. I'll take that shit, too. Give me that. Give me all that. Okay. Work. All right. Let's go kill some stuff. Hey, man. Hey, Monch. How you doing? <laughs> Monch. <laughs> okay. Conductor's office. Okay. Now, if everything stands correctly, I steal that. Yeah, give me it. Steal from the dead. It's always a good idea. Always works out. Okay. Come on, a little strong. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner I mean, that was being transferred for execution. I mean, I should mention that. with those soldiers outside. I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around. So, I'm afraid our little chat time is over. But wait, wait! You're under arrest. I can change you! No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. Yeah, I killed like three zombies, okay? So, don't mess. You nailed that, Rebecca. You nailed it. Edward! <laughs> Wait, what? Are you alright? <laughs> what happened? It's worse than... We can't... You must be careful, Rebecca. The, the forest is full of... Z zombies and... Monsters. Zombies and monsters? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh dear! Puppies! Okay, let's put this thing down. Shit! Ah, shit! Got me right in the face! Oh, you don't screw this. Ah, shit! Okay. Okay, um... Okay, we're fine. We're doing fine. I thought, you know... I thought we were in danger, but we're good. We can... We, I think we can put down these dogs. Let's just... Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh, I got an achievement. 
Son of a bitch. Okay, okay that's... Ah, shit! <laughs> Dog is kicking my ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Use that. Because we're gonna we're gonna go through quite a bit of this, put this dog down. Ujo over here. Oh shit. Ah, not the face! Right? Why do the dogs have to get infected? Whose smartest idea was that? Zombie dogs. <laughs> she got dog guts all up in her hair. Oh, that reminds me. I think she has an alternate costume. I wonder if I can play in it. Options! No. Damn. Okay. Resident Evil Remake lets you do it. Alright, never mind. I guess I gotta unlock that. Whatever. Running past you. They're just hanging out. I'm not gonna bother them. Just hope they're having a good time. Ooh, the motion sickness. I forgot Resident Evil games used to do that. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at the herbs. I'm trying to become a grower. Give me it. Okay, here we go. Take that, because that's mine. What the hell? Ew. Gross, okay. Nothing of use up here, apparently. Let's go back downstairs. Oof. Check under the chalkboard. Shut up, Sponge King. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Over. Enrico. Hello. Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document right. found in the wreck wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. That's it? 23 people. We have also confirmed that he was She's killed like so three people and a couple dogs. I'll, can you hear me, we'll, we'll fix that body count by the time this game's over. Stay alert, Rebecca. You wouldn't think twice before killing him. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello! Is she wearing capris? Are you allowed to wear capris? When you're in the, like, police force, is that a thing you can do? Use the train key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away? Yeah, why not? <laughs> She's heavy on the eyeliner and the footsteps, honey. She's got some loud-ass feet. Billy? It's here. It's you can change him. It's fine. Here on in. We can make this we work, cooperate? Billy. Cooperate with this you? Crime. Listen, little girl. If you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train, and I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. Trust him, love him. I can handle Look this on him. my own. And don't call me little girl. All right, Miss Do It Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's call opposite Chambers to you. Well or then, Reb. Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? I just want to hear him speak again. Well then, Rebecca. Why don't you go and try while I wait here? 
Ah, oh, fine. But what's this? Notice to supervisors. We can close in the diner cars, like the blah, blah, blah. The main automated door switch is located on the roof of the car. Okay. Oh shit, that's probably important. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Okay. I'm sure it'll come in handy useful. Let's look at me loose later. Are they gonna make out in the rusty train at some point? You know what? It feels like it's going that way, but honestly, if memory serves, I feel like they have like no chemistry. Like they're literally just plutonic. Like I don't know where Rebecca swings, but she's not looking for love. Oh, a survivor. Just sit down and have dinner with them. Excuse me, sir. 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 Shoot at me? <laughs> Just get some salt. All you need is some salt. It'll be fine. Are you okay? You're wasting so much ammo. Just go to the kitchen and get some salt. That works on leeches, right? Leeches hate salt. Hunk alert! And the handcuff? Love it. All right, it's telling stories. It's a conversation starter, that handcuff. What the hell? Why is Keith Urban outside? I'm not gonna ask questions. We'll, we'll, they'll tell us later, I'm sure. We'll find out why evil Keith Urban is out there, and everything will be fine. Who is that guy? Uh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, hey. we Don't gotta order me around. Each other from now on. Put a police on that. that. I just met you. Well, I don't. Clue in, girl, or maybe you like being worm bait. Leeches. All right. But they you were just leeches. remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. Boy. The sexual tension is as dense as a pound call, cake. All right. He's a felon, but he is hot. We don't know if he actually committed those crimes, okay? 23 sounds quite exaggerated. Okay, character switching. You can switch control of a character by record progress through the game. Okay. Oh, okay, so I press R. Sweet. Okay, well, we can figure that out. Oh, shit. Okay. Attack idle. Partner will not attack. La la la. Da la la. Yeah, right. Okay. Sweet. Cool. I probably should be reading this. But. I... I feel like we're just gonna wing it. It'll be fine. How hard could it be? It's uneasy. Oh, I can control him? Oh, I love that. I'll go check over there. Yeah. This way. Yeah. You gonna follow me? It's locked. Let's go over here. There's a ladder. 
It seems to lead up to the roof. Climb up the ladder? Yeah, why not? It seems like a nice day outside. Get a little air. Not make them kiss. <laughs> you know, right? <laughs> like The Sims. Oh, I should play The Sims. That could be fun. I gotta figure out, that's another thing to figure out how to like hook up though. I barely managed this. Yeah, he's just following. I want him near me, okay? Like, I need some eye candy. There's a gaping hole in the roof. It's too dangerous to get any closer. Fascinating. Okay. Good talk. Right, let's go then. Come on, Billy boy. Out of the way, Billy. Oh my god. Billy, move. Move. Oh my god. Billy, get out of the way. Billy, get out of the way. If you don't move, I'm gonna push you off this train myself. Oh my god. This is fun. It's like a pink panther. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Like little spies. I love it. Let's go inside. I don't like it out here. <laughs> the Sims. That could be fun. Sims 2, probably. That's chaotic. We could do one of those things where, like, we just let the game run and see how many people die. Dead by Daylight. I'm gonna get it, because, um, Doll Thighs and everyone's telling me I need to, like, play that with them, so... It is on the list of, like, to get. It's gonna happen. Oh, oh shit. Thanks, Billy. Ah. Fuck off. Got all over my vest. My cute little vest. Ugh. These men. How many? Oh my god. Ah. A little party over here. Good lord. Okay. Well. Let's see. This has been a fun test. It's already about to be 11 o'clock on my end. We'll see how much longer I have in me. Because I might play tomorrow too. But I want to get in drag tomorrow because I have to do some stuff. So that'll be fun. I do have to do some stuff in drag. For sure. How long have we been going for, Ernie? Like an hour or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I might call it a day, because I actually just wanted to see... Yeah, an hour and 12 minutes. Yeah, I actually just wanted to see, like, how this would go if I were to stream. And it's looking like it works, so now I can play games on the Switch, which is exciting. Now I just gotta figure out what games to play. I know Dead by Daylight, some of y'all are saying, so that should happen. But I will return with the quarry because we have to finish that up, but I'll be looking a lot different when I play that. And after that, we're doing Until Dawn because I heard it's really fun. But yeah, I think this is fun. Thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me and testing us out with me and going live on this other channel because sometimes it's nice just to not be a drag. It's really nice, all right? But I'm getting tired, so I'm going to call it a night, and I'll probably catch you guys either tomorrow or a different day in drag playing a game. So... Catch you guys again. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bye!